The objective is to understand and solve division problems with the remainder using the array and area models. Within this first problem, we're asked to draw an array to represent 12 divided by 2. There's 2, 4, notice we're putting 2 within each of those groups, 6, 8, 10, 12. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So that our equation is 12 divided by 2 equals 6. For this problem, we're asked to draw an array for 15 divided by 3. So within each of these groups now, we have 3. And we're putting them equally across for 15. So that's 3, 6, 9, and then 12, and 15. Where this is a 5 by 3 array, there are five of them there, so that our equation is 15 divided by 3 equaling 5. Here we're asked to solve 31 divided by 4 with an array. Well, we're going to start very much the same way. Within each of these here, we will draw four circles. And then we're going by 4 because we were dividing by 4. So that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Oops, we can't make another group of 4, so we have 3. And then so our quotient is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and our remainder is 3. So this was our quotient, and this was our remainder. Sometimes I've seen it written like this. 31 divided by 4 equals 7 with a remainder of 3. This remainder, that's what we could not put into another group of 4. So that's solving that division problem using an array. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use an array to solve 25 divided by 4. There is 4. 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, there's 25. So, 25 divided by 4 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, with the remainder of 1. The quotient is 6, and the remainder is 1. Let's go ahead and divide using an area model. Here we have 23 divided by 4. Much the same way that we are looking at arrays, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at 4 at a time here, so that we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 are um, for the width. And then how many 4s are we looking at? Well, that's 4, and then that's 8. That would be 12, 16, 20, and then 4 more would be 24. So that's how big the rectangle, we're drawing a rectangle to represent up to 20 at this point, and then we still have 3 more. Still have 3 more there. 
blocks that we actually have where it is is counted out. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four. And how many squares are within this right here? Right, 20. And then how many are here? 23. So the area here is 23. And I'm dividing it by 4. So I get 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 with a remainder of 3. So again, that's 23 divided by 4 is equal to 5 with a remainder of 3. Let's solve 17 divided by 6 using the area model. And then so we still have graph paper here. We have graph paper. And then so we'll look at the divisor, which is 6. And that's what it is that we'll go ahead and make our width. We're drawing a rectangle for 17. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. In this case, we go 1 and 2. And the reason we go 2 is because it goes 6, then 12. And that's our rectangle then for our area model. And that will be our quotient. And then we still have our remainder. What we still have, we have 12 there drawn so far. And then so we have 5 more. And then so that's why our remainder is 5. So using the area model, I've shown that 17 divided by 6 is equal to 2 with a remainder of 5. Let's see if we can do the area model without graph paper. Here we're dividing 26 and we're dividing it by 4. So our width is going to be 4. Oh, what's our length then? Let's see. Using our fingers, let's start counting up. We got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Whoops, 28 is too much. So our length is going to be 6 because 6 times 4 is 24. And then how much more does it take for us to get to 26? Well, it takes how much more? Only two more. So our answer to this is 6 with a remainder of 2. So our quotient is 6, and our remainder is 2. Why do you think I wrote 24 inside here? Well, because that's how many squares there'd be in there. It's 6 times 4 does give you 24. And it is very clear that I ended up representing our remainder there of 2. So that's 26 divided by 4 equals 6 remainder 2. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and use the area model to go ahead and solve this one here. We have 31 divided by 7. Make sure to label. Did you pause the video? Let's see. We had this labeled as 7. And then how many 7s? Yeah, 7, 14, 21, 28, which would be 4. And then we have 4 times 7, which is 28. That's why you write 28 within there. And then how many more to get up to 31? 29, 30, 31. Therefore, our remainder is here, which is... 3. So we have our answer there of 4, quotient 4, with a remainder of 3. Read the whole number sentence with me. 31 divided by 7 equals 4, remainder 3. So there are multiple ways to be able to solve these problems. Yes, we started with the rays to begin with. And then so we had our rays where we had 7, 14, 21, and 28, and then finally 29, 30, and 31. Which of those is easier to draw? An array or is it easier for you to draw an area model? Hmm. 
remember that it is always good to be able to solve problems in different ways. So today we went over the area model, and then we also went over arrays, understanding how it is that we represent that remainder.